So to make our replicator, begin by using a couple of blocks and placing them like so. Put a command block at the back, place another block in front of it with a button on it to activate the command block. I'm using barrels here, but you can use a chest if you like. We're going to mark this one in for the input, and then we're going to mark this one out for the output. Now to program the command block, what we want to do is we want to clone that barrel over to there. So one forward, one to the right, and then one forward and one to the left. We're using relative coordinates to make this a little bit easier. So we're going to clone relative 1, relative 0 because it's underneath us, and relative negative 1. And the second set of coordinates is exactly the same since we're only cloning one block. And then put in the relative negative 1, relative 0 again, and relative negative 1 because again we're cloning it to that block on the left. We're going to set this to impulse, set it unconditional, and it needs redstone, which is why we put the button down. Once we push the button, there's the other barrel. Now anything you put in this first barrel will end up in the second barrel. And as you can see, of course, they're both empty right now. So let's say you're lucky enough to get yourself another star. Now that's a lot to go through to get another star. But if you've got a replicator, put one in there. And again, this one's empty. Press the button. And now you've got two. Now let's make an automated version of the replicator. You start with two dispensers, a comparator, a redstone repeater, and then redstone. After you've laid down the redstone dust, all you need to do is add the command block right underneath this one here. Now when we program it, we need to go one, two, three blocks out and one block up, and we're cloning that dispenser to one, two, three blocks out and two blocks up. So just like before, we're going to type in clone relative coordinate zero, relative one, relative negative three because we're three blocks out and one block up. And the second set of coordinates is the same because again we're just cloning that one block and we're cloning it to relative zero, two, negative three. It's going to be impulse, unconditional, and needs redstone again because the circuit will do all of that for us. Don't forget to replace your redstone dust on top of the command block. Now if you want to test it, get rid of the top dispenser, throw something in the bottom dispenser, and you'll see instantaneously the top one reappears and it ejects a duplicate of whatever you put in the lower dispenser. To make it more automated, add a hopper on the side going into the bottom dispenser. So you're lucky enough to find four diamonds, but you want more. Place all four into the item hopper and out come eight more diamonds. Place the 8 diamonds into the hopper, and out come 16 diamonds. We'll put all 16 in, and I'm pretty sure at this point you know what's going to happen. Thank you for watching. Here's some other videos you might enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to keep an eye out for what comes next.